Namaste. Welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. Let's come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet, on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we'll do this a few times. At your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Can it also help people to relieve back pain? Two more times. One last one. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, release tension in the wrist. Take an inhale and center, exhale, turn off the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together, let the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swing side to side. When you're ready, arm bounce, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong. Squeeze strong, stomach in tight. When you're ready, uh, move to your knee for five times. Go to your own breath and your own pace. Crunch it in. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side, release tension in your wrist. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg up, left thumb to the sky, back toes down, lengthening. Once you're set up, elbows to knee for five times. Go your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Swing side to side. Kind of breath the needle. Inhale the right arm Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around the waist. Beginners, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like. Don't worry about raising the back leg. If you find that this is challenging to balance, be mindful if anyone who has any shoulder, knees, or any issues at all, listen to your body always to avoid injuries. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Then you can stay here if you like to put more body weight on the left shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to chant yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg. Slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Take your time, swing side to side. We're gonna get ready to come up. Meet you in down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Walking it up out by alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing. Pushing the mat away. Lifting the hips high, high up. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release. Left foot down, right leg up. 
We're going to come to a three legged split. Bring the right knee on the outside of the right elbow for three times. Go your own breath and your own pace. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Right foot down, left leg up. Three leg this split. When you're ready, left knee to the outside of the left elbow for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. Walk forward towards the hands. And now you're in the forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are here with. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Pep bones above ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Gently shake yes with the head. Gently shake no. Swing side to side, hip movement. One more breath. We're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckle is down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half back. Not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung, heart, chest. Not pushing the hips forward. Stimulating thyroid glands by lifting chin up and half back. One more breath and slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Come into crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release in back, swing it, grow tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Shoulders and hips are level. Inhale, center, turn long. Exhale to the other side. Coming into a crescent moon. See if you can bend a little bit more with each exhale breath. Inhale, center, turn long. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. See if you can bend a little bit more with each exhale breath. Chin up, looking up. Inhale, arms up. Lengthening the spine. Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent. Side body line. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to do soft knees. Doing a knee drop. Toss or turn. Touching opposite hips. Loosen up. You don't have to go very far down. Continue to warm up the spine. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Shake it up. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, eight toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. So listen to your body always. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank, shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tuck your upper by your side, and then inhale. Cobra is modification. 
All up dog, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, with your shoulder back on your knees, tuck your toes. Lovely hips, high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We stay here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Mid our index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Lifting the hips high up. Release the head down. Slightly bend the knees and knee if you have high hamstring. Now we're going to look between the hands, that a hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale, your arms up. Over the roots. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step the hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left foot at 45. Square hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down from the knees. Eyes looking up. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back leg straight. Now we'll release the arms. Interlace the finger behind. Neck goes down and away from you. Lifting chin up and head up. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blades. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Transitioning into a half moon. So we're gonna shift the weight to the front leg. Right hand by the front foot, grounding the front leg, bring up the back leg, either point or flex. You can have the top hand on your hip, or you can open up the body, top arm up. Once you straighten out the front leg, lock the front knee. Come into half moon, balancing, and when you have enough of it, Slowly, slowly release. Coming back, warrior two. So we come back to a warrior stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Open up. Arms parallel to the floor. Palm facing down. Turn a little bit of front fingers. Strong arms. If I was to come and press on you, you should be able to resist me. Extend the side angle. Right elbow resting on right thumb, left arm up. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Slowly we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down. Lengthening the right side, the left side rather, of your body. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. If you like, you can place the front hand by the front foot. I'm using my block to lengthen my arm. Slowly, slowly come back up. Come into reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up. Left hand down the left thigh. Top arm is suppressing me, looking up. Feel the length in the right side of the body. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Slowly, slowly release. 
triangle. Strong your stand. Swing the hip up, all leg as straight. Tip to the front. When you can't go anymore, when melt the arms. Right arm, six o'clock. Left arm, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stand on top of each other. Full palm facing out. Looking at the top thumb. After you have straightened out the front leg, lock the front leg. Lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly rise up. Revolving triangle. Left hand by the big toe side or baby toe side of the front foot. Rotate the body to the right. Right arm up. Looking up. Once again, both leg are straight. If you have very tight hamstring, slightly bend the front knee. I'm using my block to lengthen my arm. Slowly release. We'll come to a pyramid. Shorten your stand. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Head to knee. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, place the hand on the shin or holding onto your block to lengthen your arm. Slowly, slowly rise up. Use the length of the mat. We'll come to a goddess. Open up your legs about three feet. Toes are pointing out. Hands up by your chest. Palm facing forward. Inhale up, exhale down. You don't have to go very far down. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Release the pivot the feet to face the other side. So we're going to repeat everything leading with the left leg. Front knee is 90 degree on top ankle. Make sure it doesn't wobble in and out between second and third toe. Back foot at 45. We have heel to heel on heel to arch alignment. When you're ready, arms up, holding onto your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in, shoulders relaxed down from the knees, eyes looking up. Roll the shoulder back, interlace the finger behind, knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and hammer, shine the chest up to the seat. Looking up. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades. Slowly, slowly release. Open up into a warrior two. Bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up the arms, arms parallel to the floor, palm facing down. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Extended side angle. Left elbow, resting on left thigh. Right arm up, breathing stretch. Look at the top thumb. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Lift and stretch. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. If you like, you can bring the left hand down. I'm using my block to lengthen my arm, keeping the top shoulder up and open, not rounding down to jeopardize the pose. Advanced student, feel free to slip the left hand underneath the knee to bind hands. After you have bind hands, rotate the top shoulder up to the sky. Slowly, slowly curl back up. Reverse warrior. Flipping the left arm up, right hand down the right thigh. 
Top arm is a crescent moon. Looking up. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Slowly release. Shift the weight to the front leg. We're going to go into balancing half moon. Grinding into the front leg. Find a spot by the front foot that you can place your head down. So once again, I'm using my block to lengthen my arm. Bring up the back foot, either point of flex, top hand on your hip. Now you can stay here. Once you get into the balance pose, you can bring the top arm up. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Open up the top hand, engaging the back leg, looking up. Try your best. Half moon. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into triangle. Shorten your stand. Swing the hip out. Once you swing the hip out, fold the gut straight. Arms out in T. Shift to the front of the room. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Lower arm, six o'clock. Top arm, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stand on top of each other. Full palm facing out, looking up. You can slightly bend the front knee if you have tight hamstring. After you strain out the front leg, lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly come back up. Revolving triangle. Right hand by the big toe side or baby toe side. I'm using my block to lengthen my arm. Turn the body to the left side, left arm up. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Once again, both legs are straight. If you need modification, slightly bend the front knee. Slowly, slowly release. Pyramid. We're going to shorten the stand. Square the hip to the front. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bow down. Head to knee. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, place the hand on the shin or holding onto the block. One more breath. Take your time to rise up. Use the length of the mat. Coming into a wide leg forward bend. Toes elbowed in. Pigeon toes. Hands on waist. Take an inhale first. Exhale, we hinge forward. Leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, holding onto your block. Block has three different heights. This is the highest level, second level, and this is the third level. Lining up the fingers with the toes for those who can touch the mat. Release the head down. Slightly bend the knees if needed. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so you don't feel good about this. You need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. We're going to inhale to a flat back. Exhale, go back down. Right hand, grab hold of the left ankle, left leg, the other arm up. Looking up. Slowly release. Walking the hands over to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite leg. The other arm up. Reach and stretch. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. Now we're going to slowly release. Walk the hands back to the center of the mat. Getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale 
to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. Once you come all the way up, heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. And then we'll come to garden pose. Toes are pointed out. Try to come down as low as you can. Bring your hands to heart center. Use your elbow to push the thigh out. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Try to work the heels down. If you're not able to open up and work the heels down, no problem. Slowly, slowly come down to seated. Bring the sole of your feet together. Grab your hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall. Rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you, grab a little big toe on the entire feet, inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, roll longer, bring the elbows on the outside of the shin, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Neck is long, spine is straight. We're opening up the hip joint, stretching our inner thighs. Slowly, slowly come back up. Bring the knees together, wrap your arms around your knees. Make yourself small. Inhale, chin up, head back. Exhale, chin to chest. Do it several more times. Both ways with stimulating thyroid gland. Decompressing the spine. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Giving more spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly come back to center. Windshield wiper. Knees are hip width. Hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. I'm going to drop the knee from one side to the other side. Now this way we can lift the hip up. Hip release. Windshield wiper. Now we open up and drop both knee to the right side, forming a 90-90 degree. You can adjust the angle to suit the knees. Make sure the butt stay down. The stretch is a quarter side hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort here. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll set ourselves up for the gate pose. We're going to extend the top leg. Those who need knee pad or knee support, bring the knee pad to support the other knee. Spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, top arm up. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Chin is away from the body, looking up. And very soon, if you want to lift up the top leg, make it into balancing, go ahead. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to windshield wiper a few times first. Release any tension that you may have. And when you're ready, we're going to repeat on the other side. 
forming a 90-90 degree here, make sure the butt stay down. You're going to feel the stretch here, put your socket joint. You can make it a smaller angle, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. And then we set ourselves up for the gate pose. If you need knee support, move your knee pad, towels or cushion on the other side, spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, straighten out the top leg. You should pull abdominal muscles to lift your hips off the ground. Top arm up, reach and stretch. Open up the top hand, looking up. If you want to make it into a balance pose, lift up the top leg, I have a point of flex. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to come down. And we're going to go into a wide leg. Use the length of your mat, open up your legs in a big V, point your toes up to the ceiling. Get the flesh apart out from your butt, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to go into a wide leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to the Exhale, we hinge forward. Grow longer. Place the hand in front of you. We're not reaching forward. Bending the elbows. More room to come down. Hinging from the hips. Leading with the chest. Neck is long. Spine is straight. We're not rounding the back or dropping the head. The entire unit has to come down. And there's going to be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reached your limits. Bending the elbows, small room to come down. One more breath, slowly, slowly rise up. Come into a side bend. Right finger hopping on to right toes, bring the toes to you. Bend your elbows. Feel them up, really stretch. Open up the top head, looking up. After your have slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, tipping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly curve back up. Coming into a forward bend on the right leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up, lengthen. Exhale, turn to the right leg. Shift forward, holding onto any part of the foot, the leg. So release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. If you have very tight hamstring here, slightly bending. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Coming back to Y leg. If Y leg is uncomfortable for you, fold the leg that you're not using. So we're going to reach for the toes, bending elbows, the other arm up. Reach and stretch. After you lengthen, slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Feel the leg in the side of your body. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Reach for the opposite line. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. Slowly, slowly coming back. Bending the leg that you're not using. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to inhale the arms up to the Exhale, turn to the straight leg, shift forward, 
holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. When you come down, stomach come down first, and then the chest. Just remember, neck and spine always in one straight line. One more breath. Slowly, slowly rise up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the flesh part out from your butt. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Point and flex a few times. So we're going to do both wrist and ankle joint. Loosen up, pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Now, left side, one up, one down. A little bit of coordination here. Get the brain busy to coordinate the movement. Side to side, like a windshield wiper. Continue with wrist exercise. Reduce wellness. Increase flexibility mobility in your joint, circle. Strengthening the joint, especially the ankle, so that it's not so easy to slip and fall, twist your ankle, so change direction. Slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna come to the staff pose. Point the toes up to the ceiling, hands by the side, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Getting ready for double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. Roll longer. Body directly on top of the straight leg. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. Roll longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest, head is the last thing. One more breath, slowly, slowly, curve back up. Come in to see the twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. So beginning, you can stay here. Advance your if you can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. On this side, your modification. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. Sit up tall, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, Look here at the back, turning the neck as well. Front arm can be stop sign hand, try your hands, any variation you like to challenge yourself. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. One more breath. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the arms, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly, slowly coming back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Repeat 
one leg forward then on the other side. Set yourself up, point the toes up to the ceiling, get the fresh cut out from the butt. Inhale, arms up to length. Exhale, we hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest, head is the last thing. We're not doing head to knee, so make sure you're keeping your eyes on your toes or looking forward. Not dropping the head, rounding the back, or become a hunchback. Slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into one leg. Twist. Bring the bandit on the other side of straight leg. If you can, bend the bottom leg. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Set up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. If you like, you can bring the front arm around, coming to stop sign hand, pray your hands, any variation you like to challenge yourself. Overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. Turning the neck as well. One more round. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of the body. Slowly, slowly, curl back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Come into the boat pose. Get the flesh of out from the butt. Bend your knees. This is your work. You can have hands on the knee, the knee for support. When you're ready, lift your feet off the ground. Don't lean back too much. And we'll stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Come down. Catch your breath. Another round when you're ready. Bend your knees. Come up on your tiptoes. Lift off. Don't lean back too much. You can either hold on here or here or release. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Catch your breath. One last round to go when you're ready. Lift the feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on the leg go, or you can go to both for 10. Cross and turn. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Come down, bounce it up. We're going to slowly transition to come lie down on the yoga mat. If you want to come down the rock and roll method, set yourself up. Take water first before you lie down if it is needed. If you're doing rock and roll, come to the end of your mat, bend your knees, use your body's momentum to rock forward, backwards. If you're not comfortable to do this, just lie down on your mat and wait for a moment. We are massaging the entire spine and entire back. Do not hit your head on the way back.
When you're ready, you're going to slowly, slowly release. Bend both knees. Your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in the lower back so that the first joint of your finger can go through. Not to say that the entire hand pass through. Close your eyes. Let your body get used to lying on its back. Listen to my verbal instruction. So just stay here for a moment. I just drew you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you really got Thank you very much. Now, we're going to set our up for the bridge pose. So, knees are two feet apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Those who wish to squeeze the block, place the block between your thighs. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high, high up. Exhale to lower down. One more degree at a time. So inhale up. Exhale down. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles, the quadricep, and your glutes. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. We're going to inhale, hip up, arms up above the head, fingernails on the mat. Exhale, lower everything down. So continue, inhale, lift the hip high, high up, arms up above the head. Exhale to lower everything down. Breathe in and out through your nose normally. If you want to do exhale up, that's perfectly fine. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release. I'm down by your side. Remove your block if you have your block. And we're going to waste your wiper a few times. Hip release. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hip can come up. Couple more times. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Getting ready for leg lift. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the right leg up, using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the right kneecap. Point and flex the right foot. Draw a circle in the sky, ankle rotation, just a couple of rounds, and reverse. Sliding the hand foot up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. Along your feel the stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch to pull a hamstring. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Left toes are facing the ceiling, so both legs are engaged. Slowly release the head down. If you have a strap, Place your strap on the right foot. When you're ready, lower the right foot to the right side. Go to where you're comfortable. Make sure the left butt stay down. If you like, you can also rest the foot on your block. Left hand on left hip, keeping it down. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly 
bring the leg back to the center, switching hand. Left hand, grab a hold of the strap. Lower the right leg to the opposite side. So the right hip automatically comes off. Slowly release the right leg back to the center. I'm going to remove the strap, nice and slow of control. Release the right leg back down on the mat. Bounce it a few times. And we're going to repeat on the other leg. So point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up to the sky using your thumb and muscles. Don't just swing the leg up and down. Hands behind the left kneecap. Just going to do a few of these point and flex. Increase flexibility, mobility in your joint. Circular motion. Go the other way. Stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood circle it back to your heart. Lifting the head, chest up. Walk the heads higher up. You can hold on to any part of the legs, or you can also hold on to the toes. Hamstring stretch. Allow you feel the stretch is good to go. No need to over stretch. Slowly, slowly release the head down. Place the foot in your strap. First, we're going to lower the left leg to the left side. Go to where you're comfortable. Right hand on the right hip. Keep the right hip down so we're not lifting the right hip off. Opening up the hip joints, stretching out inner thighs. When you're ready, switching hands. So bring the legs back to the center. Right hand, grab hold the strap and lower the left leg towards the right side. Now, this time, the hips automatically comes off. That's okay. Make sure shoulder, shoulder blade, upper back are still on the mat. Only the left hip comes off. One more breath here, slowly, slowly. Bring the left leg back to the center and release nice and slow with control. Release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Double leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring the legs up to the ceiling. Don't just swing the leg up and down. Nice and slow of control. Flex the feet, hands behind the kneecap. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you to increase immunity, improve digestion, sleep quality, overall wellness, stretching our hamstring as well. So we're letting the blood circulate back to our heart, energize the body. Two more breaths here. One more, and we're gonna slide the hand foot up the leg, or grab hold of the big toes, lifting the hand chest up. Tailbone automatically comes off. Continue to stretch hamstrings. Engage both your arms and legs, not carrying tension in your neck, Shoulders or upper back. Slowly release the head down. I'm down by your side. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat using abdominal muscles. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. We're releasing on the right side. Grab your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze. Massaging on the organs on the right side as well as ascending colon. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Lifting the head chest up, head to knee. Lifting the left leg off the mat, squeeze. Continue to massage internal organs. Slowly release the head and the straight leg. 
and now we come to spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Right arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a look at the right side, your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Repeat wind releasing on the left side. Wrap your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Both legs are working. Massaging organs on this side of the body, as well as descending colon. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Lifting the right leg off the mat, squeeze. Continue to massage internal organs. Now we're gonna slowly release the head and the straight leg. And now we come to a spinal twist, left foot on right thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn it over the left side, your neck is good. Hips automatically comes off. Strengthening the lower back muscles to support your spine. Creating spaces between L4 and L5. Helping you to relieve back pain. Slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten up the legs. Bounce a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side, coming into big circular motion if you like, covering a big area, massaging lower back and sacrum. Knee to chest also help you to relieve back pain. And we're going to go the other way, reverse. Slowly come back to center. Lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and entire back. Opening up hip joints. Stretching out in the thighs. If you cannot touch the bottom of your feet, hold on to any part of the legs. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Release the legs down. Coming into bound angle. Place the sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax the jaws. Suck up your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, tension, worries, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focus on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Two more breaths here, and we're going to slowly, slowly wake up the body, bring the legs together, drop them to the right side, raise your right arm, roll over to the right side, coming into a fetus position, using your right arm as a pillow, and when you're ready, 
Use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. Bring your hands to heart center, taking three final closing breath here. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale the arms up. Turn the palm out. Exhale down. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.